welcome to my mom's channel. Please do not judge my hair. I did not take time to do it because I'm about to mess it up at the beach in a second. But I wanted to show you guys how I pack, what I pack, and after the brief description, there is a time lapse video. So watch all the way to the end. I'll see you guys in a second. So this is my son's backpack, all of his things. My backpack is the black one uh, and all of my things. And I'm gonna go along and let you know what I'm packing, how I'm packing it. So this is a sweatsuit. The reason why I'm packing like this is because it's cold where we live. So it's gonna be cold where we're leaving from and cold where we're coming back to. Where we're visiting for vacation is hot. So we're gonna be on the beach the whole time, just about. Um, everything is gonna go, we always travel carry on only, backpack only because we are non-revers. For those of you who know what non-revving is. This is a sweatsuit and base layers by 32 degrees heat for children. These came from Amazon. These are gonna go under his sweatsuit for when we leave. Comfortable sneakers, sneakers all the time. Flip flops for the beach. These are ponchos. I have one for myself. This is a poncho because if we're traveling in carry on only uh, backpacks, it's possible that we're gonna get rained on if we do not have an umbrella. As you can see, I'm not really making room for things that I feel are unnecessary. I'm trying to pack light because these are carry-ons and I don't like lugging around a whole bunch of crap. So I'm just taking these ponchos. These fit over our backpacks as well. Um, I don't know if these are probably not waterproof, but these ponchos go over us and the backpacks should we need to use it. I do bring along wipes because I am traveling with my six-year-old who has not really mastered uh, certain things yet. So I bring wipes and this, typically there are seat covers in bathrooms, but just in case there aren't, I have this one left and then I have some other um, off-brand ones, but this is a seat cover for children. Uh, for public restrooms you peel off the back of this and it sticks to the toilet seat so this one has not been used but you can tell i've traveled with it a few times <laughs> i just haven't needed to use it but i bring it just in case i go to a bathroom where there aren't any uh seat covers for him these are his headphones his ipad and charger Headphones. I always bring an extra pack of headphones just in case something happens to his main ones. I too have an extra set of headphones, underwear, undershirts. All of this is going to be packed just like this. Everything you see here will be rolled really tight and into the bag it goes. This and this will be on his body so this does not count actually. This wash rag, these are the really, really cheap wash rags. Um, I don't travel with my good wash rags because those are pretty and I leave those in the bathroom. But these are the really, really cheap ones. You know that big pack that they sell at Walmart for like three bucks and it's 90,000 of these wash rags in there. The reason I bring these is because I have been to countries where they don't use wash rags. They use like gigantic hand towels, which makes no sense to me but I am learning uh, and I learned to bring a wash rag with me <laughs> so I have a wash rag for myself and my baby snacks um, I'm gonna show you at some point in this video drinks because we can't afford to live like that that stuff is like a million dollars for water not happening here okay um uh, let me get oh and this is just two toys 
just for him to shove into the sand like he always does. Uh, extra socks. Passports. Definitely going in mommy's carry-on with my license in it. Um, my wallet or my card holder, less bulky. I don't like wallets because they're huge. Um, chapstick. This is just in case. I don't feel like drinking water. I know I should be drinking water, but sometimes I don't feel like it. I don't feel like drinking water all the time. I want something sweet and I want sugar. So I take that. Uh, my laptop, just in case I have to do any type of work. Uh, I doubt it, but I may have to. Again, mom life, right? I don't go anywhere without band-aids, alcohol pads. Neosporin, travel Neosporin. Gotta have that when you're a mom and you're traveling with your kid. Excedrin, gotta have Excedrin when you're a mom and you're traveling with your kid. <laughs> Not really. But Excedrin, just in case like I get a headache or something. Sometimes I get a headache because I've been on the plane for so long. I don't know what that's about. I wake up from a nap and my head is ringing. This is a really cool tool because, you know, you moms know that when you get a band-aid wet. If it's not the right band-aid, it's not the really good kind, my baby has had on a band-aid and gotten in salt water and then the band-aid's gone. These are just tissues, a converter. Other countries have different sockets. Nothing like getting over there and thinking you're gonna charge all your devices and don't have one of these. This is a spray pen, but it's nothing in here but hand sanitizer. This works really well. Um, it's really skinny, see? Not taking up a whole lot of space. All of this actually goes in here. I have my other stuff, toothbrush, travel deodorant, mouthwash, my eyeshadow, whatever very minimal makeup that I am gonna take. You probably won't even be able to tell that I have it on because it's gonna be so light. When you're going to these countries, always have some cash on you because the country we're going to tomorrow, you have to pay like a, some sort of tax when you get there. Like when you hit the ground, get to their airport, you gotta pay some sort of tax. Leaving, I don't think we have to pay anything, but I gotta get cash, so I'm not gonna stick this in there right now. I did a video on this. This keeps me from getting pickpocketed. I probably don't even need all these cards, but um, when I get there, this will be around my neck with my passport, my license in it, and my bank cards and whatever cash that I have because without those things in a foreign country, we probably won't see America again. The very first video I ever post posted is about this. Because I don't want my butt out in front of my six-year-old son, I'm bringing these workout shorts to go over my bathing suit. This is my tripod, I cannot bring my ring light. The cord to my laptop, like I said before, extra headphones, Apple Watch charger, Apple Watch, the remote to the tripod, AirPods and the charger for that. This is what will be on my body. I'm gonna wear my sweatsuit and my base layers. We will probably wear this there and back. Comfortable sneakers. I love these. These are, I just got these. These are by Kendall and Kylie. So comfortable. I feel like I'm walking on air. I like to wear comfortable sneakers because I don't know how much walking we may or may not have to do. I don't know how the transportation is in this particular country. Because this was already in my toiletry bag, I forgot to mention it when I was talking about the Excedrin and the Neosporin and the waterproof band-aid. This is really good to have if you are traveling, well, even by yourself, but especially if you're traveling with your children uh, and they get mosquito bites, depending on what country you guys are visiting, this is always a great thing. <laughs>
the best packer. I am still learning. But leave me some comments below as to what you guys think I may have done better. Different tips and tricks that might have made packing a little bit easier. Uh, because I did change my mind quite a few times. But like this video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I will see you guys next week.